Mississippi State Technical Community College on Hardin Valley Road. It's the Arsenio Hall Show. I'm your host, Arsenio Hall. Won't you give it up for the posse? We got a great show for you tonight. We got Samuel Sewell, an author from New England published the anti-slavery novel titled The Selling of Joseph. Uh, and we'll give it up for our guest tonight, Samuel Sewell. How you doing, Sam? I'm doing well. Everybody like, are you Sam? Sure, no problem. Okay, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Why'd you come to America? Well, Originally, my father came over from England. Uh -huh. uh, he had inherited an estate, and he came over for that reason. I came over with my mother when I was about nine years old. Oh, really? Uh, did you ever go to college or anything? Uh, any kind of formal education? Yes, I attended Harvard College. Um, after college, I assisted in a mercantile business. Um, I married uh, Hannah. because of uh, merit uh, you know, no, your working no. ability or just because you were married to the boss's daughter? No, it was all my educational background and knowledge. They wanted me for me, for who I was. Oh, really? So you're a pretty smart man. Yeah. Pretty smart business sense. I imagine you learned that from your father. No, he was a minister, a Puritan minister. So oh, really? He didn't really, I don't know, possibly, you know, back then, but maybe his sense was dealing with people, you know, that, yeah, that is very important to, yes. deal, with, to deal with people. Yeah, uh, another interesting thing, I was reading a tabloid that uh, that you've been married like more times than Red Fox or something. <laughs> Red Fox, uh, I don't know about that, but uh, um, my first wife, as I said, uh, Hannah Hall, she became ill and died. Uh, my second wife, I was married to her for about six months, and she also died.
calls if you would like to write in in the same message. So try, take away the gray. Hey, uh, so what's it like being appointed to the wish trial by someone like William Phipps? Oh, it's a great honor. Yeah, you know, it makes you feel really good that somebody thinks that, that highly of you. Wasn't really expected as, you know, black people thought, but it makes you feel real good. your outlook on life in America as a whole. 